in terms of uh, making things uh, easy for the callers. Um, you know, we're not talking like high level production here. Let's talk like mid level corporate. You're doing a simple show, and you need someone to call in. What is what is the tool of choice, Koi? First, Zoom. I mean, let's be real, you guys. Anybody saying differently is full of shit. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> you know, that's just what it is. It's the easiest thing. We're all on this right now. We used it. Literally, streaming media went from using I'm not a product. I'm not even going to talk about that. I did a, a show with last year to now using Zoom webinar for a reason, right? So yeah, I mean, I think that's the first con contribution. We try, we send these pixel kits out. We're like, oh man, you're gonna use this SRT app and it's you're gonna look amazing. And then you get this asshole doctor who's like, you know what, I'm not using this crap or you get this politician and you just, you, you end up falling back to Zoom. What about you, Jeff? I lean a different way. I, I I use a lot of Zoom also, but I I do lean more towards we we we've, we've helped them develop it, and uh, I really enjoy using Unite because we can get an individual audio and video feed from each caller, so I can mix video like I'm supposed to instead of MX audio specifically. I can increase audio levels from each person. I can yeah, I could put EQ on them. I could do all these things that I would want to normally do in a traditional workflow. Uh, so Unite by Sienna in the processing engine is just a tremendously power tool, powerful tool. Another thing that they allow you to do within the, the processing engine is we actually have intercom back into their ears. And you could do that with Zooms. And we had, we had 120 Zoom meetings running last weekend. So I, I understand Zoom very well. But whenever we are doing, and those are all in the cloud, whenever we're doing one-on-one uh, -on -one talks, we would dedicate a virtual machine just to that one person on Zoom if we, if we had to use Zoom. And then we would get that, that individual NDI feed and all. do more with it. As more of our, uh, as more of our, times move forward i i would see we're going to see better tools than zoom developed just for oh, this for purpose sure. and I for sure it's one of those i just got to do look joe did to me i'm going to do to you jeff what joe did to me okay i have a sienna ndi license it is twenty six thousand dollars a year for one just this processing engine and 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 the regular right here's the crazy thing and i don't want to shit on sienna ndi i think it's a great product I bought it last year, never used it for in production because all of my clients do not like using the viewer and they don't think it's a consistent experience across the things. And that's why we kind of moved to best of breed. I like it as a product. I think it, I think it has a useful place, but it is very expensive. Let's be real, right? It's not like, it's not for companies that don't have the wherewithal to spend a lot of money on remote as an upfront cost. I, I, I agree with you that it is expensive to some people, but if it's coming to, if you're, if you need something that just works and I would say, Corey, let me spend an hour with me. Spend yeah, an hour no, with I agree me. with you. And I've used it. I love it, dude. It I love it. So I, lo cool. I think it's great. I think it's great. I just never used it. And we ended up building our own product on Nimble to basically go, look, we don't need all this. We don't need to do nodal crap. I just need to send a bunch of freaking streams and I need a bunch of people to be able to see them at the lowest latency possible. And I need to be able to replicate them across the things and do things with them. So like, I think, I think CN is great, but it's like, you literally have to, every production, you have to be like, all right, I'm going to do all these things. Right. And then when it changes, you got to change. So I think it's a great tool. I'm not hating on it. I'm just like, if, if there's a thing that everybody knows how to use today in 2021, hands down that product is zoom. So like no, as far no, as the I user having the there. easiest thing to do in their life, that's it, right? 